Hello guys, today we prepare a king coconut wine. In reality, to make the king coconut wine, you need the king coconut, that is the one that is orange outside. This one is green, is another quality. But you can try to use every kind of coconut that you find. We don't use the milk, but we use the water inside the coconut. So for this recipe, we need 3 liters of coconut water. If you cannot find the coconut like this, probably you can find this, that is coconut water, 100% without preservatives and so on, because we need to ferment it. Yeah, so we need only the pure water of the coconut. Plus 250 grams of brown sugar, 250 gram of white sugar, 50 gram of candy sugar, the one that I use already to make the beer, plus the spices, because in Sri Lanka they use the spices for everything. We need one lime, the juice plus the skin, one cinnamon stick, six cloves, and uh, eight pops of cardamom, the cardamom is you smash it. Now I make the hole, I take the water from the coconut, I put directly in the fermenter, but first I will put the candy sugar with some water from the coconut, in this way it will melt. After we put all the ingredients in the fermenter, and naturally you will need a yeast, a yeast for the fermentation. Every time when I'm recording, I make always a mess because I have always transposition. Like you have noticed probably, I throw half of the water of the coconut outside, so be careful to put the water inside the fermenter. If you find the coconut like this and not the juice, remember that inside there is the pulp, the coconut. But they say that it's very healthy, so don't throw it away, but you can eat it. Mm. Okay, now I will open the other coconut that we put inside the water. See you later to add the Easter, the yeast, sorry, today I have in mind the Easter, the yeast, and to check the initial gravity. In this way, after we can know the alcohol contain. Added the candy sugar or the caramel. Now we should shake our container because the sugar on the bottom is still there. 
So we want the piece up here. Okay. Now we check the initial gravity and after we add the yeast I will use one tablespoon of yeast that I get from the pineapple wine if you have not made already the wine of the beer you can use the brew yeast half teaspoon or one teaspoon will be enough and after you close with the airlock and tomorrow morning we will check if the fermentation is started but first let's take the some juice to check the initial gravity The initial gravity is 1080. From the airlock and from the movement inside the fermenter, after 12 hours the fermentation is running very fast. So, see you. After one week the fermentation is still on, you can see this from the airlock and also from the movement that you see on the surface and uh, our wine is still uh, foggy, we should wait then become more clear, so more or less we should wait five days, one week more. Finally, after three weeks, our coconut wine is ready. You can see from the airlock and also from the wine that now is very clear. So now we remove the airlock. We take a little bit of wine to check the final gravity. In this way, we can know the alcohol contained. And after we put the wine in the bottle. Like usual, I like the wine sparkly. So I will try to make also this one sparkly. I will put some sugar in the bottle. In this way, the second fermentation will make the wine sparkling. You should put 5 grams of sugar every half liter of wine. On the bottom of the fermenter there is the yeast, but now there is also all the spices, so I will throw away everything. Now we should wait two weeks that the wine fermented again in the bottle, and after we can test it. But during this time I will tell you the alcohol contained. With this recipe, we get 3 liters of coconut wine. The final gravity is 
995. If you remember, the initial gravity was 1080. So we should do 1080 less 995 and we get 85. We should divide 85 for 7.5. So the alcohol contained now in our wine is 11.3%. But because it will ferment it again in the bottle, so the final alcohol contained will be 11.8%. Not bad, it's not spectacular because uh, the taste of the spices is too strong for me. This kind of wine remember me the Gluck, the Swedish wine that I make with Susan. If you will go in Sri Lanka, try it. If you will make it home, let me know. And remember to subscribe to the channel, to leave me a like it and to watch all the other videos. If you have some questions, some request please let me know and remember that you can always win this t-shirt if you follow the video that i have already posted bye bye